which is a foaming facial cleanser um so this is it's very it's really gentle for the skin it doesn't disrupt it like that icky stuff like clean and clear all that stuff you shouldn't be using anymore this is very gentle and it cleans your face while still protecting the skin barriers on your face so i'm gonna go ahead and start washing my face with this i also wanted to mention that i do suffer from um very oily oily skin and so that's why i'm always trying to get in my gallon of water for the day and really trying to always use products that hydrate my skin but also making sure they don't strip too much of my natural oils but kind of balance it out so you can see i'm like really really oily so yeah so cleansing my skin i have an exfoliator brush that i ordered off amazon you can get these for like a few dollars so the first thing i always do is i end up wetting my face so now that my face is wet i'll add like one full pump on here and i've wet my exfoliator brush and i'll just exfoliate So after wetting your skin, just really exfoliate it in all the areas. In any area where you feel like you have more of a problem with acne or oiliness, really work into those layers as much as you can um, and really get that skin clean. And these things are so fun because you can just stick this right on your uh, mirror. So my husband's is blue and mine is orange. So you can just stick it right on your mirror, dry it a little bit, and it's back on there. Okay guys, so right here I start using my steamer, which I bought on Amazon for $35. Let me just tell you, it has been a game changer to my skin. It makes it feel so much better, so much softer, and it naturally kind of hydrates the skin on its own without even having to use any serums or any other um, hydrating agents. Um, so I just kind of stand in front of this thing for about a minute and I get close enough to where I can feel the steam but not too close where it's like really burning me. Um, because it does get very hot so just please be very very careful while using this but yes definitely get a steamer on Amazon because it'll change your skin routine and I don't do this every night but when I do do it it is the bomb you guys so now that my skin has been steamed and I only do this like two to three nights out the week let's be honest I don't do this every day um, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab my toner. So glyconic acid is something you should be using every single night. So with the glyconic acid, it um, it works as an exfoliate. You don't wanna use it every single day. And if you are watching this video, please never mix these two. So when I do my, um, when I do my, with the vampire facial, then you're not gonna use the toner afterwards. So you have to pick one or the other. Because I've already done this this week, I'm not gonna do the vampire facial. I'm gonna go ahead and um, open my toner. Glyconic acid is really, really, um, it's really good for the skin. Like I said, it, um, it exfoliates your skin and gets into those deep, deep layers. So what I usually do is I pour a little bit in my hand or you can use like those cotton swab things I put it all on my skin and then um, I like use one of these brushes and I got it from Amazon and I just really like work it in some people use the marble rollers this is what I use so I really like work it in into my skin perfect and make sure that toner is like everywhere, especially right here, like in my problem area. Okay, rinse that off. Okay, so now for me, um, I'm gonna use some hyaluronic acid. The hyaluronic acid basically, it keeps the water in your skin so your skin doesn't dry out. So it hydrates your skin 100%. It's almost as like, 
If you don't drink water, make sure you use some hyaluronic acid so you can keep your skin now keep your skin naturally moisturized without also like being super oily. So it does help with people who have oily skin like me. So what I usually do is I do like a full drop in here and then I rub my hands together and at first I was like oh my god this looks so weird like it looks like you have to like wipe wash this off but you don't and you just put it all in your skin and you don't really rub it in on top of that toner okay so then after I use that, um, I usually, I usually use just a little bit of the ordinary caffeine solution because I have really bad bags and I skipped this step this morning when I did my morning routine cause I wasn't going anywhere. So I just do like a little drop and then I like put it underneath my eyes and I like really rub it in. And I put that right there. Perfect. And this will reduce puffiness, dark circles, which is something I suffer from. I'm gonna wash my hands just a little bit. After I do that, I want to lock in all of those serums and stuff that I use. I don't. So um, the niacinamide is a holy grail for people who have like the niacinamide. Like it's a holy grail for people who have like acne like my husband has severe acne on his cheeks so he'll use the niacinamide i only use it if i'm like about to start my cycle and i usually get like a few breakouts and stuff but i'm not going to use that tonight because i'm going to sleep and i only see one bump so i'm not really too much worried about it so then i get this moisturizing cream from the ordinary and it's a natural moisturizing cream and um, it really helps uh, you apply this after all your serums and it really is it, it hydrates the whole surface as well and it really locks everything in together so I'll rub this all over my face okay been really struggling with my lips lately I let them get chapped using um, using a chapstick that I honestly don't think agreed with me so I usually do this lip scrub which I've already done for the day so it's from birds and bees so I really like it but then this is an overnight lip cream that really locks in that moisture I put that on my lips and then that's my night routine my face is all ready to go so like I said my this is simple I literally use I wash my face pat dried it I steamed my face I put on a toner because I, I wasn't gonna do my chemical clean, uh, pill tonight so I already done it and I only do it um, I only do it once a week if you I'll link my blog below so you can um, read the post that I wrote about the chemical pill and when you should be using it after I use my toner I go work on my serums I don't use as many I only use the few that make sense for my night routine and then I lock it in with moisture and then I just do a lip scrub on my lips and put some of my um, overnight lip balm over top of my lips and then I'm all ready to go. That is my night routine. Thank you so much for tuning in. I swear it took forever to film this, but um, people always compliment my skin and they always say it's super glowy and I credit it to everything I did. I don't do as much, but like I said, we're heading into our early 30s, so we can't just wash our face and go. We definitely need more of a routine and a system. So, um, try to develop the system. Some people just use their Cervive facial cleanser, their Cervive uh, lotion, and then they lock it in with the toner right after need, uh, right after you're done. So my morning routine, I kind of do the same thing. Instead, I do add an SPF sunscreen because 
you guys it is a myth black people need sunscreen to protect our skin especially after we use some of these serums because these serums are working overtime and with the sun on top of that it can really do damage to your skin so you want to make sure you're always using an SPF um, sunscreen to protect your skin which you can find at Ulta and Sephora all these products can be found at Ulta Sephora and can be found at Target thank you so much for tuning into my channel I love you guys so much peace be still oh wait and before I go change your pillowcases every week